The city of Corning celebrated one of its largest events of the year, the 77th annual Corning Olive Festival. Action News Now reporter Alejandro Mejia Mejia shows us the importance of this event. Corning has kind of a soft spot in its heart for olives, and I think a lot of people like the fact that we're known as the olive capital and want to keep that as, as part of Corning pride. Hundreds were in Corning today for Corning's historical olive festival to celebrate the city's history of olive production. Julie Kinchelo, the president of the Corning Chamber of Commerce, says around 500 people were at the event checking out local food trucks, vendors, and of course, eating olives. Kinchelo told me even though the Olive Festival is celebrating its 77th year, the event continues to grow with a record high of 110 local vendors setting up shop at the festival. One of the many activities here at the Olive Festival is the classic car show you see behind me that was broken down by the years that the cars were manufactured. Scott McCoy, the vice president at Bell Carter Foods, a table olive processor, told me why it's so important for Bell Carter to be a part of this event. Uh, Bell Carter Foods has been around for over 100 years, uh, and to be involved in this festival um, every year has been really core to who we are and it's a core value of, of Bell Carter and our employees. And As the 77th Corning Olive Festival comes to a close for the year, the festival will make its return again on the second week of October of next year. In Corning, I'm Alejandro Mejia Mejia for Action News Now. Bell Carter, Carter Foods is the second largest table olive processor in the world and the largest in the United States.